What is up YouTube? This is Marlo's Take and I am Marlo. What I'll be reviewing as you can see right here is the Shark IQ Robot Model RV100130. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and I'm going to do a review and see how this product is. Before I start my unboxing, this is the first time I've had a, uh, a RoboVac in a while. I did have a Rumba years ago, one of the first editions. It didn't work out so well. So I want to actually try to get another one. So this is going to be the first one I'm going to get. So I'll be unboxing it for you right now. And then um, I'll let you know what, I, what it is, what it contains inside the box. And then take everything from there. As you can see right now, I open up the box, and as you can see, it says the Shark IQ Intelligent Multi Room Cleaning System. It gives you a little synopsis of what's going on here. It's powerful for pet hair pickup, hair wrap, no hair, self cleaning, brush roll. That's one of the selling points it was for me was that hair cleaning brush brush roll. I have two dogs, but um, they don't really shed as much. But still, is we want something like that, like a vacuum, just make sure you pick up any type of pet hair dander or anything like that and one of the main selling points is that it's Alexa and Google Assistant uh, compatible because I'll definitely be pairing this up with my uh, Google Assistant and if you look up top here it tells you the contents it says contents include shark IQ robot charging dock two side brush brushes extra filter and two side brushes Okay, as you open up the box, you see right here is the Shark IQ and the Quick Start Guide. It downloads this right here for the app. Again, this is Wi-Fi enabled, so of course they have an app included with it. Now, as you see here, this is the actual Shark IQ. This is the robot right here. You have the filter. I guess some. This is the clean. This is the brushes that go onto the side that I have to install. charging station oh this is the boundary right here you put this in places where you don't want the shark uh, ninja to uh, go to so this is something that's very important at least it comes with this some places they don't have that it comes with this but this is good to have and the star of the show is the actual shark robot what I'll do right now is I'll take the take this all out of its container and then I'll give you guys another look at it okay as you see right now I have the plastic I've taken it off so you can actually see what, it, what everything it comes with this contents and what it actually looks like you have the charging station right here with the adapter you actually have the shark right here um, you had the boundary strips over here you have the filter and you have the set of brushes and it also comes with the shark IQ robot which was great is it had the uh, QR scan so you gave it a scan it to get the app down um, downloaded into your phone and uh, this is the owner's guide so I'm going to put it together now download everything and get everything set up and then I'll be right back with you and um, we'll continue with this um, unboxing and my review what is so cool about the boundary strips is that you can cut them so you can make them any size you want to fit any way and again this is to prevent the rump, the uh, shark from uh, going into any areas that you don't it doesn't any areas you don't want it to go to but what I didn't know is that you can they give you a lot and you can cut them to any size that you want so you can make it go to any specific size you need to make sure that the uh, rumba stays within a certain area it's a good feature Okay, I came back after I got something to eat, and it's DOA. It keeps saying that there's some obstruction. I tried cleaning it out twice, and it's still doing the same thing. It's pretty bad for the first trial run. I guess maybe I'm supposed to sweep first before I use it. I'm not really sure why, but um, I'm gonna give this a few more days, give it another try, see if I can completely clean it from the bottom, and see how it goes from there. Okay, I cleared out the obstruction. It seems to be moving pretty well. So, so far, so good. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I 
tried the schedule feature from my Shark vacuum cleaner and um, I didn't see any indications that anything was wrong. I scheduled for 12 o'clock while I was at work. So I was pretty happy. I thought everything went well. Then I take a look and <laughs> it's not at the charger. So I'm wondering where it is and stuck under my bed. Now before when it was stuck, it would say that, you know, give me some sort of message saying that there was a problem, but I didn't get a message this time. I'm not understanding why it was stuck. This might be bad because I swept after the first time. And it looks like it couldn't locate the dock. So this might be bad. Um, I would really like to try to keep this. I'm not sure if I will if it has these type of issues. Um, I think it's pretty self -ex I might give it one more day. I'll schedule it on Friday to see how it goes. Not update the video again, but so far it's a. Uh, this is not looking too good, and I might be returning this unfortunately. Right now, it's attempting to find the dock. The dock is right there. Maybe I have too many things in the way, and that's why I can't find it. Um, I'll try to see if I can give it a little assistance. But it's really having a hard time finding the dock. The dock is right there. I'm trying to give it some time to see what happens here. Okay, now it's actually facing the dock. It just has to go to the dock. Here we go. There. Okay, so if it found the dock, um, I guess the chair was too much in this way. Um, I might have to try it again with the chair not being in there to give it the final test, but I would think I'd be able to do it even with the chair there. But um, again, I'll have to take another look and see. I'll keep you updated. Okay, so now after listing my pros and cons, I also list the commands that you need for your Google Assistant and probably it works with Alexa. So my conclusion is I was on the fence at first when it came to the shark, but it has grown on me. I don't like the extra steps of the research I had to do to link it to the Google Home Assistant. If you are advertising that it's one of your features, that function should be readily available to you right out of the box. Besides that, I feel for the first three days it's done a good job. Um, I do plan on keeping this. Um, I know they have the more advanced one which empties out automatically for you instead of you have to do the manual empty. But again, it's in my room and it's kind of small, so I will just um, do it myself manually because I don't think it's going to be that much work for me to keep up with it. Um, if I do decide to upgrade, I will definitely post that and give my review on that one. Like this video, hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe, as I will give you more reviews and my opinion. And thank you for watching Marlo's Take. Hey Shark, tell Shark to return to base.